five reasons why we enjoy or recommend wall throws and why they're so beneficial. So number one, Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, what we're gonna do is go through five reasons why I think you should be incorporating wall throws into your training in the off season. As everybody knows, we have had a extremely odd year. COVID has really just obviously crushed the 2020 season and it's still having an impact as we go into fall when we would normally start getting into thinking about what we're gonna do, gearing up for indoor or getting ready for the 2021 season and those things are still changing and seasons are adjusting. And when we get into that off season time, because we're having so many limitations, one of the core things that you need to do is get a wall and you need throwing balls. So what we have for the discus are throwing, you know, implement weight balls. We have one kilo, one six, two kilo. We can go overweight with two fives and then we'll, we'll use typically indoor shots for walls. Now, if you're throwing closer to a wall, like you have limited space, we like the hard shell shots. They tend to be a little bit more durable. And generally, if you can get backed off of the wall a little bit more, um, just either soft shell or an indoor shot is gonna work. And this way, you're going to be able to get in a lot of reps. Now, that being said, we're gonna go, what are five reasons why we enjoy or recommend wall throws and why they're so beneficial? So number one is that wall throws allow you to focus on technique and not distance. But when you put an athlete in front of a wall, you know, the, the ball's not going anywhere. It's a common thing that we talk about. It says, no matter how hard I throw or what I do, it's gonna go X distance to the wall. And so by default, it gets our athletes out of the mindset of wanting to see how far it is. The minute you put an athlete in the ring, they're immediately, you guys out there that are watching that are throwers, you know it, you can't help yourself. It's the nature of the sport. You wanna see it go far. So one of the nice things about wall throws is it allows you to really break down technical positions and work. So like, here's an example. We have an athlete and we would be working on his rewrap. And again, right here, we're gonna want an athlete to be moving through the throw. So when we're throwing into the wall, it's really easy to get this athlete to stop pulling around and start pushing in and different things like that. So without looking at distance, because you take an athlete out into the ring and again, they wanna see where it's gonna land. And if it's not going far psychologically, they think maybe the throw's not good. Whereas when you're throwing into a wall, you're going to just be focusing on feeling and you're gonna be really keyed on positions and you can look on video, which you can see we film a lot. And so we're gonna be breaking down those technical positions. And again, that's all they're focusing on. So number two, the big reason for wall throws is reps. reps reps and more reps. It's easy if you notice again when we take an athlete here and we just throw into the wall obviously we have a pretty close this situation here you can see this is where the athlete kind of came out of position we're working on the block foot uh, we're working on again trying to come through so sometimes the block leg is moving and the point is is as he hits that throw boom shot drops or discus ball drops and you can just pick that up and go again and pick it up. You don't have to get into a fast rhythm, of course. You still wanna have some time and control so that you don't get you know, just into this breakneck throwing pace. But the nice thing is it's very easy to get in 30 to 50 throws. And again, for coaches, for groups, you can space out enough. Like we have in, in our facility, we have an exterior wall. We can throw about three guys at a time. We go five throws, switch out kids. We go through that and we're easily getting 30 to 50 quality reps up to, you know, a hundred reps in, uh, in within, you know, an hour. It's pretty easy to do. Wall throws are great for that and it's a great thing to add. And what we do in our off season time is we'll spend the majority of our first few months into the wall. So we go right into throwing, but we're throwing it to the wall. So we're putting the emphasis on technique. We're getting in a lot of reps and then we're out in the ring typically once a week. We're in a obviously great training weather year round, minus the extreme heat in the summer, but that's gonna be your second reason for wall throws. Third reason, uh, safety. You know, just like anything else, this is a habit you wanna get into as a thrower. We always, we can't emphasize enough, but one of the things is if you did get hit with a one kilo ball, it doesn't feel real great, but it's not gonna mess you up like a discus would. You get hit with an indoor shot, you've got some, you know, chance of uh, not being completely completely screwed up because it's soft, but safety is still a, a major concern. So you still want to have your spacing, control, stand behind, 
you know, back half of the circle type of thing. And most of your beginners, you can, you can move them a little closer to the wall and that kind of thing. But generally it's much safer. Fourth reason we like wall throws is facility limitations like we're talking about. And especially with what COVID is going to be doing to sports and the type of limitations we're going to have. Uh, it looks like certain states have already announced that they're going to be running football and some of the fall sports in the spring. So you're going to have fall and spring sports running concurrently on campuses. And everybody knows, unfortunately, that means that football is going to take priority and sometimes that's going to limit throwing areas. So you're going to want to find those exterior brick gym walls. Sometimes you can find those walls inside weight rooms, somewhere a building on campus, and you can be able to get in and set up a throwing area. You just need concrete and a wall. And if you don't have that, you know, put down a piece of plywood and you can set that up and get your throws. So the fifth thing why we really like wall throws is kind of ties into the first point. You focus on technique and not distance, but what it does is it helps our throwers avoid burnout. We're not in the ring just grinding, 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 grinding year round. We're switching it up. We're going through our progressions and we're able to get those reps in when we're focusing in at the gym or wherever. So, and it keeps them hungry. So again, we'll get out and do live throws in a ring typically once a week for the first few months of fall, but they're still throwing four times to five times a week. So really important factor. And those are our five reasons why you should be including wall throws. We get a lot of questions on where we get some of our throwing implements. We'll try to link that up for you in the description below. If you have any comments, be sure to throw them down below. If you like this video, comment what you thought was good. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out the Throwing Chain Reaction system, and we will see you on the next video.